Hi, I'm Joe Cervantes, a field service technician with TPC Packaging Solutions from the Illinois branch. In this video series, we are going over some of the basic troubleshooting, maintenance, and daily operational tasks that are necessary to keep your machine running the way it should. Thanks for watching. There are a number of ways to configure wrapper settings for a successful wrap cycle, and setup will depend on customer preference. This video will cover recommended setup that can be used as a reference to how product will be wrapped. From bottom to top, you have wrap cycle counter, which will display how many cycles your machine has run. Machine calibration, a password protected field which holds a number of technician diagnostic tools. And wrap program select, where we will find our stored programs and machine settings. If we open wrap program select, we will see that this machine can store three wrap profiles to accommodate different types of loads. For the scope of this video, we will set up a base recommended wrap program under program A. In this program, you will be able to first adjust wrap count settings. This allows you to set the number of wraps at both the top and the bottom of a load. Typical setup calls for two and two. Photo eye settings controls the photo sensor which is mounted on the carriage and detects the height of a given load. The sensor can be turned on and off. Top of load overlap is measured in inches and controls how much film sits on top of a load. Typically, some overwrap is desired to apply downward pressure. The manufacturer recommends between 4 and 8 inches as a standard range. In the wrap mode settings, you decide whether you want to start the cycle from the top or bottom. Most users will have it set to bottom. Starting a wrap cycle at the top of the load can be helpful if you want to have a top sheet placed on first, or if you want to place any label behind the film during a cycle. Up only can be turned off or on. When turned on, the cycle will start at the bottom and stop at the top of the load. The carriage will not travel down. A slow start is just what it says. You can bring the value up as high as 25 full revolutions. This setting can be helpful with loads that are stacked sensitively. Film force settings is used to turn on or off the reduced bottom film force setting and to adjust how many revolutions will have a lower force at the start of the wrap cycle. This setting helps to wrap both lightweight pallets and pallets with sharp corners. The top sheet setting can be turned off or on. This will pause the cycle to allow a user to place a top sheet over the product. You can also adjust the distance it lowers after the pause. These increments are in inches and can be set from 0 to 30. Now that we have covered all of the machine settings and saved our wrap profile, we can look at the last few settings which are accessible on the control panel. Force to load applies more drag to the film in the carriage and causes a wrap cycle to be much tighter. This setting can be adjusted between 0 and 10 by pressing the up or down arrow twice, and then once for each number you want to adjust. If this setting is set too low, your wrap will be very loose. If it is set too high, your film can break. Experiment and find which setting works for your range of loads. Carriage raise and carriage lower will control the speed at which the carriage moves up or down, and can be adjusted in the same way as force to load. A higher speed will result in fewer wraps in the middle of the pallet, while a lower speed will result in more wraps. The top and bottom wraps will remain the same, as they are set in the profile earlier. Your e-stop button is used to stop the machine, while the reset switch is used to power on the machine and clear errors. Now you have an overview of all the settings used in the Cousins 2100, and now you can begin wrapping with confidence.